Welcome to the off-road driving course. You're going to learn all about this vehicle and how to deal with all kinds of off-road obstacles. First off, drive your vehicle to the first checkpoint. This will give you a basic sense of the controls and you can feel how it moves. Try to keep it on the track. Increase your speed. Use the right and left arrows to turn. Reduce your speed. All right, well, you got that down, but stay sharp. There's an obstacle up ahead that's going to need all-wheel drive. It's time to talk off-road. Been a smooth stretch up till now, and you've been all right using two-wheel drive to maneuver. But when the going gets tough, you can end up spinning your wheels and going nowhere fast. That happens when you're gunning the driving axle, but the weight's all on the free axle. That's when you need to switch to all-wheel drive. You need your engine to power all four wheels at once to increase your traction. Then you can blast your way through just about any obstacle. But watch out. When the engine is powering all four wheels, you're going to lose some maneuverability and acceleration. Engage four-wheel drive. All right, not bad for a rookie, but to get past the next obstacle, you're gonna need to lock your differentials. This is the real deal, so listen up. This vehicle has lockable differentials, one in the front axle, one in the rear, and one in the drivetrain. Your differentials transmit higher torque to the wheel or axle that has lower traction. In other words, they let your wheels spin at different speeds so you can maneuver better. But when you're riding off-road, you never know when you're going to hit a slick surface and get one of your wheels stuck. If the traction on one wheel goes low, you ain't going to budge. The differential transmits all your torque to that one wheel. The wheel getting all the torque is going to spin like crazy, and the rest of them are just going to sit. When that happens, you got to lock your differentials. Either lock the front and rear differentials to make the torque equal between the front or rear wheels, or lock the main differential to equalize the torque between both axles. Now let's get into gear and see how this works on the road. Lock your differentials. But don't forget this stuff mid-race. Next up is downshifting and shuttle driving. Let's say you need to push it hard while you're riding on a slick surface. If you try gunning the engine, you're just gonna spin out. Try dropping down into low gear instead. This'll load up your torque and keep your wheel spin low. Of course, sometimes you're gonna get really stuck. No matter what you do, you can only move a couple feet forward and back. If you're stuck like that, the only way you're going to get out is by shuttle driving. Drive forwards as fast as you can, then slam it into reverse and gun it. Forwards again, and keep on shuttling back and forth till you've picked up enough momentum to get yourself clear. Downshift your vehicle. Great job making it this far, but when you're looking at a really difficult stretch, low gear sometimes isn't enough to keep you from spinning out, and trying to rock your way free can only make things worse. And sometimes shuttle driving can be against the rules of the race. In a case like this, you can use your onboard compressor to drop your tire pressure. A decrease in tire pressure increases the tire's contact with the ground, 
and that increases your traction. The downside is that low tire pressure decreases handling, lowers your acceleration, and can even cause the tire to lose its grip on the rim, causing a blowout. As soon as you're out of the tight spot, you've got to hit the compressor again to restore normal pressure. Before you decide to use your compressor, remember that it takes time to lower and restore tire pressure. Lower your tire pressure to get past the next obstacle. Lower your tire pressure. Sometimes you'll get into a situation where even low pressure tires and low gear won't give you enough traction. In a case like this, you gotta use your winch. Your winch is mounted on the front of your vehicle. The winch's cable is wrapped around a shaft that is driven by an electric motor or linked directly to your transmission. The other end of the cable is attached to a nearby stationary object. So when the winch slowly reels in the cable, it pulls your vehicle towards the object. Just take care not to break the cable. There's an obstacle in front of you that you'll need to use the winch for. Use the winch. This is the final stage. Time to work on taking tight corners fast as you can. You need to use your specially modified handbrake. This lets you brake each rear wheel separately. If you brake the inner wheel while you're turning, you'll be able to do some real tight cornering. All right, for this stage, you're gonna have to disable all wheel drive and unlock your differentials. You'll need all the speed and maneuvering you can get. Use the handbrake. All right, buddy, that'll do it. Now you're ready to face the off-road circuit and begin your career as a racer. And if you forget anything, you can always return to the training course. Good luck.